Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a UU match. This one is against a guy by the name of Hollywood Undead. Uh, he literally listed a tier uh, specification as you must be recording this for YouTube. So generally I find those people are like very attention seeking, but he didn't even tell me his YouTube account. So I don't really know. Uh, but this battle turned out to be a pretty good match. Uh, it was well played on both sides. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it. I'm going to lead... With my Hitmon top, because I'm like, he has a Zoroark, and I can fake out anything, nothing... Well, okay, his Aerodactyl resists it, but even then, it'll still do a bit big chunk of damage. But then I see him lead with his Mew, and I'm like, oh, fake it's gonna do nothing, he's gonna recover most of it back with lefties, and I'm gonna lose Life Orb recoil, blah, blah, blah. And so I just switch out to Gligar, because I'm like, oh, he's gonna, like, have, like, you know, Stealth Rocks or whatever. Um, but then he goes for Nasty Plot, I'm like, shit! I go to Empoleon, and then he night dazes me, and I'm like, God damn it, he was Zork. If I had to just fucking fake out it, uh, he would have had to switch because I could have killed him with a mock punt. Uh, so literally, the reason I led with Hitmon top was to kill Zorark, and if I had to just follow it with my plan, not copped out because I would take a life orb recoil and not get much accomplished. Like just, I should have just fake outed. Just like if if I hit a Mew and he recovers it, who cares? It's one life orb recoil. So I don't know. Uh, I lose my Empoleon really early, but the thing is, I didn't really need it. Zorok's the only thing it needs to be there for. Everything else on his team is, like, physical, pretty much. So, uh, well, except Mew, but whatever. Um, so I go into my uh, Darmanitan. I'm going to U-turn out to scare him out because I'm faster than I'm scarfed. He goes into his Aerodactyl. That still does quite a bit. I go to my Shaman. He's going to set up rocks, and I'm just going to hit him with Seed Flare. He goes into his Throw. going to set up a Leech Seed on him because they're usually, you know, like, bulk up set up. Sweepers and circle throw, payback, rest, and shit. And uh, I don't really want him to be doing that. So I'm going to switch out here to Gligar because I'm thinking he'll want to set up another bulk up and I can uh, toxic him, get up stealth rocks, etc. Odd story about that is my Empoleon also had stealth rocks, so I'm like, oh my god, when I have two stealth rockers, I'm like, oh wait, no, you know, he's only going to have like a spinner and I'm going to look like I'm going to definitely need it. And then it turns out that my Empoleon dies like right away, so I'm like, fuck, that sucks. Um, but he circle throws me as I switch in, which is unfortunate. I go to hit him on top. I got to fake out here because I have the uh, lefty or the lychee recovery rather coming in. And speaking of lefties, he doesn't have it, so I'm thinking he's gonna be resto chesto. So keeping that in mind, gonna switch to Gligar. He's gonna switch out. Uh, not really sure why, but okay. Uh, then he's gonna taunt me as I go to set up stealth rocks, and I'm like, wow, two stealth rockers. One died, one got taunted, and I kind of have to switch out. Uh, and this is not working out too well for me. And he transforms. And I'm like, damn, if I had to switch and stayed in with Gligar, just earthquaked. Well, that would have done nothing because he would have transformed first. But he wouldn't be able to do anything to me. Yeah, he'd be able to set up stealth rocks. But, like, they're already up. And he could toxic me, I guess. But whatever. Um, So go to Darmanitan. He transforms into me. I don't want to U-turn because if he stays in, nothing on my team really takes a Flare Blitz that well. And I don't want to... Rock slide because Crocodile can come in, but I figure U turn is a better like move in general, and I could have super power to get a lot of damage on Darmanitan, his Mew slash Darmanitan. But uh, in the end, I go for Rock slide, and he does switch out to Crocodile, and then he Pursuit traps me. And I didn't think it would kill, but it's you know Life Orb, and he's probably like Adam and stuff. I'm gonna hit him on top, I'm gonna go for the fake out. It's going to scare him out. Goes in the throw. I'm gonna then close combat. I'm thinking, you know, he. Throws base speed is like 40, and mine's like 70, so even though I have no investment, I'm faster, and I can just get a close combat. But he's actually faster than me, and he rests, and I'm like, why are you faster than me? So that really confused me, because I'm like, usually they're max HP, max special defense. But, uh, especially since circle throw is negative priority, negative 6 at that, too. So it's like, I don't understand. But, um, yeah, so, um... Whatever. He uh, switches out to Mew after circle throwing my Gligar back into my Hitmon top, I believe. He's going to switch out because he doesn't want to get fake outed, mock punched, uh, and go into Mew. I'm going to go into Shaman because I know if he transforms into me, sub, leech seed, seed flare doesn't really do much, and I'm pretty sure his hidden power is going to be dark, and mine's fire, so I can. Uh, kind of screw him over. I go for the sub, I do win the speed tie, but we w both went for sub, so it didn't really matter. And uh, he's going to go for the hidden power. It's not a super effective, so I'm thinking it's dark. doesn't even break the sub, which is excellent. And because mine's fire and thus super effective, it is going to break the sub, and he knows that he's at a big disadvantage. Um, even if I don't keep subbing, I still do 
double the damage, so I'll kill him very soon. So he is going to switch out. Uh, Hidden Power is not actually going to kill him, and it's uh, even, I don't know, I probably would have killed him a second round, but I'm like, you know what, just go for the Seed Flare. Uh, just, you know, just take it out, that's fine, whatever. Um, and that's what it does. Um, so I kill him. Now he's going to switch to his Arcanine. I figure I could see Flare probably do a, a good, you know, 30-40%, but I figured uh, Leech Seed is a little better. Because it's uh, lasts, you know, it's more sort of over time damage, and I can switch and stuff and things. Uh, yeah, so he's life orb, which I was hoping he wasn't. I was hoping he'd be banded uh, because I would ease prediction, but he is life orb. So I'm gonna switch to Gligar here, kind of as a fodder. I'm like, he's probably just gonna flare blitz anyways, but he actually extreme speeds again. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure an extreme speed would not have killed a full HP shaman. I mean, I have no. HP or defense investment, but still, I'm like, full HP. I don't know why he would think an extreme speed would kill. I, I'm like 99% sure it'd only do like 40-50%. But uh, I go back into Shaman. I know I'm faster than him because he's not Scarfed, obviously, because he's Life Orb. Uh, because he's only got 95 base speed, I have 100 and everything. Uh, and I am Tim in max speed. So, I uh, go for the sub. And I'm just basically stalling out the, the leech seed and stuff. Here, I'm like, please kill, and it doesn't. He's, like, left at a couple HP, so I have to sub again, waste uh, a bit more HP. Well, it's actually quite a bit more this time, because I don't get leech seed recovery back, basically. Um, but, you know, I just... I figure if he does extreme speed me, I'll have a sub up for free. But I guess I could have just attacked him. Uh, but again, I, I'm like, maybe he'll extreme speed just to get damage off. But he didn't want to let me have a sub for free, so... Anything. Here, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's Zoroark, because I don't think... I think Crocodile took, like, round a quarter plus the Life Orb hit. Uh, so, and I know Zoroark only took two, two Life Orb hits, so I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but, you know, I, I can't switch to anything to do much about it. I could have switched to him on top, but I'm like, I need to save him, because he's too threatening to his Crocodile 2. So it's like, I need to save it. And uh, I take the Night Days anyways. I figure if I die, I can just go to Azelf and outspeed, and that'll be fine. Or hit him on top and just priority. But uh, I do live, like I said, and that's going to kill him. I'm going to go for the Leech Seed as he brings in Mew. Because I'm like, I'm Timid Max Speed. He's at best Timid Max Speed, so it's a speed tie, right? And he does win it. He goes first and taunts my Leech Seed. I'm like, damn it. Then I figure he's going to go for the Transform, and I'm just going to go for the Hidden Power. He actually switches up to Crocodile, takes the Hidden Power, and then I kill him. And uh, the thing is, he doesn't want to transform to Shaman because I wall him. And even if he does transform to Shaman, as of it speeds him. And so he doesn't want to do that, right? Um, so he's just kind of soft boiling as I go for Seed Flares. And uh, I believe my taunt wears off here, or is it the next turn? Um, basically, because this is the last poke, I'm like, Leech Seed will be great. Uh, so, again, I'm looking for special defense drops too, because that'll let me do a lot more damage. I uh, go for the Seed Flare, I'm not going to get the uh, Special Defense drops once again, but I am going to run off Taunt here, I do believe. Uh, yes. So here again, I'm like, okay, I can maybe win the Speed Tie. And I'm just, I'm not winning them, and I'm just like, wait a minute, I have HP Fire. I have 327 speed, because of the 30 speed EVs, or IVs, rather, necessary to have Hidden Power Fire. And I'm like, god damn it, it's not a Speed Tie, he's faster than me. So, um, I switch out, uh, mainly because I ran out of Seed Flares, and I didn't really want to be hitting him with uh, Hidden Powers, because Seed Flares 180, Hidden Power would only be 70, so even at doubled from his Special Defense drops, it's still not doing as much. So go to Asself, I figure he's going to soft boil. I figure here he's going to soft boil again, thinking I'll just hit him, maybe if I'm like Specs or something. But he transforms, which sucks, because that A gets rid of his special defense drops, and B gives him a special attack raise. But um, I end up outspeeding him, or, well, not outspeeding him, speed tie, obviously, he is me. Uh, and I just, you know, kill him with a uh, flamethrower. I'm pretty sure, since he's Azelf, uh, he'd probably kill me, even though he's only leftovers, but he is plus two. Uh, but Hitmontop should be able to fake out, switch out to Shaman, fodder that out, switch back to Hitmontop, fake out, and then Mach Punch again. Um... 
I do have Sucker Punch, but he could have nasty plotted. I might have. I probably would have Sucker Punch at least the first time, and then if he was nasty plotting, I, I don't know. It, it would have depended on the damage calc. I th I'm pretty sure after two fake outs, the Mock Punch should be able to kill an Az Elf. I mean, it's it's an Az Elf. It's like 75 defenses or something like that, which um, is not really that great. Especially when I've got Technician Stab, you know, Max Attack, Life Orb, all that stuff. Adamant, too. So, uh... Anyways, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Like I said, it was a pretty good match. It was just like 38 turns, so it was a fairly long one, but it was good. Like, there was really no stalling. The Mew and the Shaman, kinda, but it was more of playing around each other. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the battle. I found it to be a good match. He found it to be a good match, too. He, he commented as such. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, peace out, and see you guys next time.